and welcome back to I Have Nothing to Wear, a little video series in which we explore the problems of getting dressed. So it's summertime and that means we have to kind of recontemplate how we get dressed and the kinds of garments that we wear. It means less layering and it means more skin shows, which can be complicated in terms of um, those of us who struggle with some body issues. Um, for me, my struggle has always been with shorts, with my legs actually, and, and not really liking how they look. And, um, and I've avoided wearing shorts for a long time because of that. And I've started in recent years to get a little bit better about it and I've started to kind of dabble in Bermuda shorts. So I wanna ask you guys um, a question, which is, are you wearing Bermuda shorts this year? If so, how are you wearing them? Do you struggle with them feeling kind of dowdy or um, do you think other lengths are flattering? Um, let me know, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys about it and start the conversation. Um, I'm trying to get over myself this year and wear more shorts because I like the way they look. Maybe not necessarily on me, but I'm trying to kind of work on some acceptance, some self-acceptance here. So without further ado, let's dive into some looks, um, some ideas around how to start wearing Bermuda shorts. The first one, just to take it nice and easy, nice and slow, um, is this black Bermuda short, easy cut off denim, back to a sleeveless sweater knit, which these guys are everywhere this year. Um, for me, I think one of the most important things about wearing Bermuda shorts is the shoe. So with these, I paired socks and loafers. So these loafers, these little socks, they're Isabel Moran. I love them. They're old. You can wear them down. Little slide loafers. I love having a pair of these. What do you think of this look, you guys? Does it work? Do I look too nerdy? Let me know. The next idea um, we're getting into is taking a pair of denim Bermudas, again, but this time in a lighter wash and with a wider leg and pairing them back to denim. So denim on denim. This is a great jacket um, from Acne Studios, and these are from Zara. So again, we're playing with some high-low, which I always love to do, mixing. And under that, simple mesh t-shirt, which you saw from last, my last video, and a bandeau. The shoe on this one is again important. I've gone for something a little bit more feminine with a little kitten heel. So these guys are kind of an orangey red kitten heel from H&M a couple years ago, but these are everywhere this year, so you shouldn't have a problem finding them. Um, the next idea is pretty intuitive for polishing up a blazer. I mean polishing up a Bermuda short, which is adding a blazer. So I've added to this white pair of cutoffs a vintage linen Burberry blazer that I found at a thrift store here in Barcelona. Um, a woven belt, which I think is great to have these woven, kind of men's woven belts in your artillery. There's, I have one in brown and black. They add some texture and grounding to a look. And then in terms of the underpiece, in the photo, you'll see that I'm wearing this crop top, which also appeared in the last video, um, but it's certainly a look that would look great, just as great with this simple black camisole underneath. The shoe on this guy kind of goes a long way um, for color and interest, and this is this Mista woven shoe with a hit of neon going through it that I get a lot of wear out of. Tiny little, maybe not even a half inch heel. The next idea I have for you guys is uh, overalls. So I've taken a pair of overalls that I didn't like anymore, I didn't really love how the bottom was looking, and I just cut them off. Now, technically these aren't Bermuda length because they're a little below the knee, and Bermuda technically is an inch to two inches above the knee. But uh, I wasn't liking these, and I thought maybe I could get more wear out of them cutting them off, and it, I did. I think one of the reasons why this look works is because I've added some play with length. So the trench is actually a bit longer, the drapey trench is longer than the overalls, and I think that adds this kind of kind of lengthening, interesting play. Um, and then I added this, this little baby, piece of resistance, the orange bag handmade by my friend Sarah Tejada, who's very talented designer 
seamstress, you name it. All right, so the last, oh, important note on the shoe on this one. I think uh, a great sandal goes a really long way when you're trying to put together looks with shorts. Um, these ones are my splurge of the season, an investment piece, the Margiela tabby sandal with the little toe detail. Um, this off color just works so well with blues and navies and primary colors like red even. It's just so pretty together. Um, okay, last idea for your consideration is um, a fine gauge sweater knit. Something long sleeve, I think, is nice to work with shorts because it gives you, again, a little bit of play on the lengths. Um, so these are maybe considered a bit more culotte, but these are these... Um, Remember this brand, Gervaud? I don't know if you guys can see this. I love these. I got them at Mercy Vintage in Oakland. Um, and then a fine gauge sweater polo is a great balance to this. Um, and I've added a really fun shoe to this one, which I happen to be wearing, which are these guys, Manolo Blahnik uh, knockoffs that Zara's running right now that I think are really kind of a fun little revival moment. Another variation on that idea of something long sleeve and something in a knit is just a simple gray sweatshirt, every girl's best friend. Maybe add some layered necklaces, a ballet flat would work well here, or um, just a classic black espadrille. Um, these are from a brand here in Spain. I can give you the name if you want, just message me and I'll give those to you. But they're really easy to find almost anywhere. Um, I have more outfit inspiration around uh, Bermudas and how to wear them on my Instagram. If you check that out, it's at Sartorial Dread or at Alyssa L. Ashcraft. And I'll put these up now. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And I look forward to seeing how you're wearing Bermuda shorts. And, you know, if you feel like tagging me in your creations, um, just do it on Insta at Sartorial Dread. Thanks, guys. See you next time.